it might be rather nice having another young woman about the place. I suspect Ernst thinks so as well. <laughs> Much better. Yes. I hate you. Hate you all. See that, Moya? Moya? Moya, what is it? Not good. Not like. Devil shell. Very bad. Oh, it's not going to hurt you, Moya. No, that's, that's all right. Uh, Billy, take it away. Throw it back in the ocean. That's a good boy, Billy. Is that better, Moya? Emily! You're wearing pants! You said pants were undignified. In China, many ladies wear pants like this. It's quite respectable. Well, now that you've gotten rid of your skirts, you're going to join us down at the beach? I teach you how to sail raft, like island girl. No, thank you. That's good. Put here. Now, chop here and here. So they fit together, right? Yeah, then we tie it together. Excellent. Joanna, hand me the axe, please. Bedtime story, like you used to at home. Oh, what story do you want? What about a sea monster? <laughs> oh, Christina, you'll have nightmares. Oh yes, I know. Please, Joanna, please. Oh, all right. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Christina, who lived on an island. You mean me? Yes, Christina, you. Now keep quiet. This little girl called Christina lived on an island paradise. How did she get there? Oh, you know very well how she got there. Her family was shipwrecked. Now don't keep interrupting me or we'll never finish this story. So, one day, Christina was swimming. Was a mermaid there? Yes, the mermaid was there. What about the sea god? Christina, will you let me finish this story or not? Sorry, Joanna. All right. Well, Christina was swimming one day with the mermaid when, all of a sudden, the sea god, who looked like a huge monster, rose from the waves and roared. Now, the mermaid was a really good swimmer and she managed to escape, but Christina was too slow and got caught by the sea god and pulled to the bottom of the sea and tied up with seaweed. Did she get rescued? You'll find out if you listen. So, while Christina was at the bottom of the sea... Oh, that feels good. Do you know you have a permanent smile on your face these days? Oh, no, do I? Yes. Except when you're frightening sharks or <clears throat> pirates. Well, except for sharks and pirates, it's not a bad life here, is it? Well... I'm very happy here in our little Garden of Eden. Oh, so am I. But what about the children? 
The children? Well, I just want them to grow up straight and strong and fearing nothing but God. Mm. But which God? Christina is fascinated by Moya's sea god stories. Oh. And Ernst. Well, Ernst, well, he's just fascinated. <laughs> Ouch. My father was right. I was fascinated. We all were. Except Emily, whom I suspect resented Moya's presence. I also wondered if somehow I was falling in love, and if Moya shared the same sentiment. Before long, I was to have my answer. There, that's done. It's good. Yes, it is. Is that it? Yes, my dear, you're just in time for the launching. All right, everyone, give her a push. Oh, it floats. Of course it floats. Yes, darling, of course it floats. Can we go to the reef? No, no one's going anywhere yet. First, we must make pedals. Yes, and then we must practice our swimming and diving. It's very deep water out there. Do not worry, little Christina. Moya teach you how to swim underwater. Yes? Oh, yes, please. Emily, too? No, no, thank you. I'll stay on the dry land with Mrs. Robinson. Oh. David, come and look at this. What is it, my dear? Oh, you've done it. <laughs> yes, linen thread. Gosh, Mama, you are clever. Well, we think so, don't we, Emily? Now I'll have to start devising a loom to weave it. That shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, good. And how have you got on today? How are they coming along, Moya? Good, very good. <laughs> They're all swimming like fish. Yes, and tomorrow we go reef. That's it. That's good. Yes, that's right. Keep going. May I have a go, Mama? Yes, of course. Just let Moya do a little more. <laughs> Do you have a pain? Moya, oh, what is it? No, it's like something or someone inside my head. It's gone now. Oh, fire, fire, fire. 
First time, darling. Well, but Mama, we're not babies, are we, Billy? I'm not. Next time, Christina. Not fair. Well, life's never fair, Christina. Life is what you make of it, Ernst. Is everyone ready? Yes. Yeah. Well then, let's go. Come along now, Christina. There's a good girl. Stop. I think this is the place. Looks like it. Joanna, drop your anchor. Aye, aye, Captain. Yes, plenty reef here. I hope plenty ship as well. I go see. Down there an awfully long time. You don't think anything's happened to her? Boya! Oh, you frightened us. Did you see the wreck? No wreck. No sign at all. Bad thing. What bad thing? Much danger. Nothing down here for family. We must go. I used to do this with my mother. Except she didn't have to start making it all herself. No luck. Moya says that the wreck has broken up and washed away. It was too dangerous to dive. Oh, what a shame. After all that effort. And Moya? Well, I think she feels that we've offended the sea god. She's by the cliffs, performing one of her rituals. Oh, can I go see? Christina, no. I want to see the sea god. Christina, there is no such thing as a sea god. Yes, Papa. Why are you follow Moya? I wanted to see you alone. Jealous? Jealous. It means you're beautiful, strong, a princess. Yes. I think bad things about you. Yes. Moya can feel. But one day, you be princess too. I'm sorry about your boat. Come, I take you back. You friend. Ah. Emily. Oh. Emily. Ah. <sighs> She's sick. Moya, 
Is there anything we can do? Do you know what the poison is? Devochelle. Is there an antidote? A cure? Moya? Come. Moya! Devil Shell. Beyond the reef? Devil Shell take life and give life back. Devil Shell provides his own antidote. Make Emily better. Isn't it too dangerous? You said so yourself. Moya, go. Emily, friend. Moya, I think I should go. You no good swim. Moya go. No. Moya. What's happening? I hope she hasn't drowned. Moya. Come on. We're going to track him down before he harms anyone else. Yes, dear. I've left the pistol in the house, but I want you to pull up the ladder. I don't open the door until we get home. came from the cove. I guess as he's hiding in the burial chamber. Ernst, look. 
Oh no. Any sign of the mother? No. Moya, you'd better stay out of sight. No, I with you. All right. Everyone knows what to do. Billy? Yes, sir. Joanna? Yes, Father. Christina? Where's Christina? I thought she was with you. Oh, my Lord. Christina! Hey, Mahanamatu. Kone, kone. Come on, Emira. Come on, darling. We gotta go. Come on. We've got no time to waste. Come on. Tai ho! Arabai! No, no. Calm down. You don't want those nasty men to eat you, do you? you to be his queen? Yes, we marry. Are you going to be a real life queen? Will we have to bow to you? <coughs> You're my friend. You saved my life. You come of my island. Yes, we are your friends. But this island is our home now. Thank you. Come say goodbye. Uh, no. You won't come my island? Uh, thanks, but, um, I think Father's right. One day you find you. For you. So you not forget me. I won't forget you, Moya. Come. Goodbye. I was pleased that Moya was reunited with her dude. Goodbye. As I watched them sail away, I realized that, for all my infatuation, they truly loved each other and belonged together. As I belonged on the island with my family, to whom I could always turn for love, support and understanding, which were always there throughout my life and the family's adventures on the island. But I will never forget Moya, the princess from the sea. <laughs> 